Welcome to the September version of Creative Collab, where the theme is Get Squirreling. This is put on by PM Artist Studio, and all of the creatives participating are linked below in the description. Please be sure to follow the links and see what everyone interpreted or how everyone interpreted this theme. The origin of the word squirrely started back in the 1930s. It was a slang term used to describe eccentric, flighty, odd, or unpredictable behavior. And quite frankly, there's been a lot of that going on over in my studio over the last 30 days. I have been going from project to project and I've really been very squirrely, if you will. So let me start with sharing the alcohol ink resin and the tiles that I created from the hardware store tiles or the coasters I created from the hardware store tiles that I purchased for 16 cents. These are coated with alcohol ink or decorated with alcohol ink and then coated with resin. I'm thinking of the gift giving season coming up and I think they'll make great foundations. But when I first started thinking about this Get Squirrely theme, I walked down in the woods behind my house, kind of where the squirrels reside, and picked up some acorns from an oak tree that feeds them all winter and began to create these spirit dolls. I made their little faces and the squirrel coming out of the bag of acorns out of clay, and they have found a home in my studio. And then I had to veer off and do some scrap busting to create some ephemera and tags for from this master board because I had a swap that I was participating in and I needed to get two to three tags sent to Canada. And this is what I came up with. That master board, I think, created a great foundation. I'm working on a journal where I'm trying to decorate it with all organic type things. And the paper I've dyed with black beans, sage, and tea. Black beans on top, sage in the middle, and tea. So I think this paper is gonna look great in that journal. Then my muse box came. And I have agreed to do projects for Musebox, and they send out a bunch of art supplies on a monthly subscription basis. The first box I had was some uh, boards and acrylic inks and just a lot of fun things, and I created these two books out of my first Musebox. I utilized my onion dyed paper to create the pages. Then I couldn't think of anything to do and I decided that I would use that catch paper or the newsprint that I protect my desk with every time I work to create some journal covers. Here are the covers that I created and I am starting to bind them with a Coptic stitch binding. So you can see the finished books here. I filled them with tea dye paper. Got a little bored with that. So I flipped over to my encaustic uh, portion of my studio and heated up a plate and did some mono printing with wax on rice paper. And I used these as a foundation to go back to my encaustic wax and create a collage. And this image came out of one of Edith Holden's books of the woodpecker. And I used those mono prints as kind of the background and the foundation for that. So I had a lot of fun with that. And then my second muse box came and it was clay and clay tools and stencils or um, things to cut mosaic tiles out of. So I made this little uh, photo album to house that picture of my granddaughter. And back to my newsprint, I took a bunch of mason jar lids and spray painted them utilizing that um, newsprint to protect my grass and I created a book cover out of that. These are the signatures that I am putting inside using some of my other scraps, a little bit of sewing 
And I'll finish that book up. I think I'm going to create bind it with a string binding. So that's where I've been over the past month. And I'm going to use my own squirrely behavior to interpret this month's theme, Get Squirrely, for Maker's Creative Collab. I hope you've enjoyed. Please follow the next creative. My, the link is right here. And I thank you for being here. Give us all a thumbs up. It helps us. And I shall say bye for now.